all-time high in popularity, it also reaches a new peak in controversy. The World Wrestling Federation has created a show full of sex, violence, and Satanism. That's controversial enough. But when you realize that young children are some of its biggest fans, it becomes even more troubling. Here's Dennis Ferrier with our series, King of the Ring. You want the rock, you got the rock. If you smell what the rock is cooking. The World Wrestling Federation loves a catchphrase. If it ain't easy. The wrestlers are inseparable from their trademark line. Hello, ladies. And the fans embrace those phrases. The Rock says, stick them straight up, your candy ass. Including the young ones. I sincerely feel like that Vince McMahon Jr. is setting a very, very bad example with the content of his TV programming, which is reaching our children. I've stopped my son, who's 16 years old, from watching it. Sex. Could he be any hard? Violence. They're fighting all over the ring! Satan. The Lord of darkness. Anything goes. The Brood is a group of gothic wrestlers. The Edge even wears a black trench coat. I actually got home and uh, I came in and my girlfriend said, I, you know, they, the trench coat. They, they may start throwing this on you pretty soon. And uh, I went, why, what's going on? I didn't know. And they said that they were some kind of goth group with trench coats. And I was like, oh, no. I don't think personally that anyone on TV can influence a person to do that. There's obviously something imbalanced and wrong there before they see someone on TV. Billy Gunn, known as Mr. Ass, forbids his children from watching his show. We make that choice what they need to watch. And, and I'm not saying that our product's bad or nothing, but for seven and four, my wife and I feel that it might be a little much. Billy doesn't want his kids to see Dad do this. Triple H got him back in the corner. But a lot of kids aren't getting the parental ban. They are watching and copying. Oh, man! Don't ask us to be role models. Don't look at us to be role models. Um, it's the, it, to me, it's just one more example of as society as a whole dropping the ball. Um, parents are supposed to be role models. But how can parents compete with these come-to-life comic book heroes? Wrestling is so popular with young people, an underground movement called the Backyard Wrestling Federation has sprouted up all over the country. Kids doing wrestling moves in makeshift rings. Some of the stunts have led to injury. Oh, no, watch this. Uh, the hero of the backyard bunch is Mankind. The man who consistently performs the most dangerous stunts in wrestling. The reason they look up to me is because I started in the backyard, but we weren't hurting each other. I mean, we were, we were doing what we thought wrestling was all about. Fake punches, you know, and, uh, and big elbow drops and things like that. We weren't wrapping barbed wire around each other. For the record, please, kids. Don't wrap barbed wire around yourself unless you have a big mortgage to pay and a couple of kids at home. The big mortgage is getting paid these days. We are told not one wrestler here makes less than $300,000 a year. Life is good, even if the characters are questionable. You can't help but watch the WWF and ask, who are the good guys? To the concrete floor! He may have broken his back, chair. That report from Dennis Ferrier. A recent Indiana University study showed that during 50 WWF Raw episodes, wrestlers pointed to or grabbed their crotch an average of eight times each half hour. Not like it used to be in the old days. No, it? sir, buddy. Well, it used to be as controversial as it got yeah. with Gorgeous George. Remember? Yeah, well, that was about it. Asking, we had people here, Rowdy Red Roberts, yep. too. You yep. know, a lot, and that was back. You know, and I'm an old yep. bird there. Well, yeah, damn the weather is. Uh,